So this is a Swift Archway Twywell 2015. I'm just going to take you through the operation of the caravan, show you round the van first, show you what we've got in here, so you know what we're looking at. So this was a dealer special archway. However, to operate the van above the doorway here, you've got your main power switch, we're already connected to main to power. So we've got main to power coming to the caravan. You've got your view level, so you can see what you've got in your leisure battery, and then with your vehicle battery when you connect to the car. You've got your power from the power point coming into the caravan, as you can see here. If you connect to the car, you'll have a green light on the car and green light on the caravan also. To fill the water system, now, do a bit more of a basic video this time, but underneath the seat down the front, the yellow valve that you see there is the drain down valve, so that would need to be shut before you can fill the system, the same as it have been for a number of years now. We're gonna, you'd put that valve in the down position so the water system could be filled. You'd then come over to the taps all the way around the van and put open them all on the hot side. That would be the tap here, the tap in the bathroom on the sink, and the shower itself in the bathroom. Then you'd come over to the control panel above the door again, and with the ACK roll connect on the outside, you'd hit the water pump, and that would start filling the water system on board the caravan. Once the water's coming out of the taps continuously on each tap, you can shut each tap and then you can go to your water heating and hot water uh, heating and hot water control panel. So the black panel up here is the heating and hot water control panel. You'd hit the center button. The first icon you see here flashing is the internal temperature. So to change temperature, you spin the dial. So for instance, you want it at 15 degrees, you'd hit the button in the center and that will set the temperature of the internal of the caravan. If you want to turn on the hot water you spin the dial around to the right when you're on this main home screen hit the button again and then you've even got you've got 40 60 or boost for the hot water itself now if you're showering you'll have it on boost if you're doing washing up etc you'd have it on 60 and if you just want to the water on so it's warm enough already you'll just have it on 40. spin the dial around and you've got your option to run your different power sources for the heating and hot water so you've got gas on its own 1,000 watts of power and a gas combination. Mix two, 2,000 watts of power and a gas combination. Electric one, which is 1,000 watts of power on its own, so that's similar to the old twist dials on the old Truma heating systems. 500, 1,000, 2,000 down the side. And then you've got electric two, which is 2,000 watts of power. Here on site, we can run on electric one, so that's what I'm gonna currently put it onto. Here on the end, you've got your fan speed, so this is your blown air. You've got eco or high, and that'll kick in and start blowing the air around the van. At the bottom here, you've got a couple of symbols here. So you've got your timer for your heating and hot water, which you can have, if you have a read of the book, it'll, dem it'll describe how to do that. A warning light in the center here, which has come on, which is letting me know the water heater was turned on. You then got your well, water heater was empty and turned on. You've then got the clock, and then you've got your uh, settings for the um, engineers on site, or the on uh, our engineers on site. Underneath the seat down the front here, Underneath, you have got your mains control unit underneath there. So you've got your master shutdown, so you can shut down the whole power to the van. 12 volt fuses, your charger system, your heating and hot water, which you can leave on because it's controlled on the panel behind me, and then the spare fuse in the end, which again you would leave on. You then got your 240 trip switches underneath the cover at the front here. With the fridge, fairly straightforward to use again. Not much different to how they've been for the last, I don't know how many years now, but uh, quite a few years now. Power on. At the moment it's trying to ignite on gas. It will fail to ignite in the moment because the gas bottle isn't turned on this particular van. To change the power supply, you press and, press and hold the grey button. You come across with the arrow to the one that's relevant to yourself. So at the moment we'll go 240 mains. You'll hit the grey button again and then before you set, or before, when, before it stops flashing, you can actually control the temperature of the fridge and set where you want the temperature to be. So again, you'd hit the grey button to set that. And to turn the fridge off, you'd hit the, press and hold the power button on the end here. The screen will go dark when uh, the, power's, the power has been selected on the van that you're using. Microwave. As you can see, fairly self-explanatory, the same as your household supply, uh, same as your household microwave, and no difference at all. 
The uh, oven and grill, again, very similar to your household units. We do advise that you get gas through on the hob before um, you ignite anything else on gas on board the caravan. Bed at the back, the bed folds up so you can get underneath the bed. As you can see, your spare wheel is underneath there also. In the bathroom, you've got an electric flush on the toilet. And at the bottom, you've got your waste flap to allow the waste down into the cassette on the outside of the van. The toilet, uh, the toilet flush system on this van will take three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid. And the toilet itself will take one litre of water and a cap full of the blue fluid. Take you around the outside of the van now to show you where everything is on the outside. So you come out to the door and you've got your storage locker for underneath the bed at the back of the van. You've got your wind down legs on the back on each side, so you've got one this side and one that side. And we'll show you them before you uh, leave site how they work. This is the flush tank that I was talking to you about inside. So this is one that takes three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid. And then below that you've got your toilet waste cassette which pulls out on the orange handle at the bottom and you empty it through the neck there and as like I said that's one litre of water and a cap full of the blue fluid. The grey waste pipes coming out the side of the van and again they go into your waste master. Wheels and motor move will demonstrate on site here so you can see how they work. Then coming further on the side of the van you've got your battery box and the power lead coming to the side of the van. You've got your water pump connection on the outside of the van also and that lives in the front locker. You've then got your wind down legs on each side of the van at the front and your Truma blown air he uh, heating vent for the gas system. The hookup procedure we go through in person. And in the front locker you've got your gas bottle tie downs, your leg winder and your water pump connection. So we'll go back inside to finish the video off. So if you've got any further questions on the Swift Archway Twywell, please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'll do all we can to assist you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.